How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Arthur and today I thought it would be a good idea to go over the top 10 best virtual internship programs that you can do for free uh, if you are looking to get some sort of work experience and you don't have an internship or even if you've had an internship and you want to explore another field. Just as some background info, I found these tasks a couple years ago and I've done a whole bunch of them. Um, there are several ones that I haven't actually done but I have looked at. So I would say I have a pretty good idea of which ones are worth it and which ones are not. These virtual experience programs are offered by a company called Forage, but they come from pretty well-known companies like uh, JP Morgan, BCG, KPMG, you name it. They basically have a bunch of different tasks uh, from consulting to finance uh, to engineering. When I was really interested to explore what kind of career I want to pursue, uh, these tasks were a great start for me to improve some basic skills such as Excel, Power, point and also just some more general analytical skills so like i said i've done a whole bunch of them you can find the videos on my channel i'll just paste some of the thumbnails up here so yeah like i said in this video i'm just going to rank them uh, talk a little bit about them and why i gave them that rank in order to do this i sort of came up with four key categories that i think are sort of most important when doing these tasks in terms of ranking how good the task is so for me number one is the tangible skills gained from doing this task so here i'm looking for uh, some technical skills emphasis on Excel or PowerPoint skills for me would push a task above any other task. The second one is complexity of the case. The more sort of uh, open-ended or in-depth thought that you require in order to complete this task, for me, that's a bonus. Number three is a bit subjective, but it's the real feel for the job. So this is basically sort of my opinion of how well I think this task actually encompasses the job that it's trying to give you a taste for. And number four is the quality of the solutions provided to you, as well as any additional feedback. So you could really take this as a learning experience. So coming in at number 10, we have the KPMG Tax Consulting Virtual Experience Program, which is also the Australian one. I'm personally not super interested in tax, so I might have a slight bias here, but I would say that in terms of the complexity of the task, that's where this one scored the highest. I would say the tangible skills, the feel for the job, and the quality of the feedback was sort of on the lower end for me. This task mainly involves you working on Word and doing a little bit of PowerPoint. I would say coming in at number nine, just a little bit ahead of the KPMG virtual experience is the PWC uh, audit virtual experience program. I would say this one edges out uh, number 10 just because it has a little bit more in-depth Excel modeling. Uh, there's a little bit more of an emphasis on formatting uh, and you start to learn a little bit more technical skills on that side of things. In terms of complexity uh, and the feedback given, it's relatively similar to the KPMG. In number eight, we have a tie with Bank of America and Citibank Investment Banking uh, Virtual Experience Program. The best part of this task is sort of going over surface level financial modeling skills. The complexity of the task is a little bit surface level. You don't go into too much in-depth valuation such as a DCF model but you cover things like comparable companies and you uh, learn how to use assumptions to make some basic financial forecasts. In number seven is the Goldman Sachs Excel skills for business. This task starts off a little bit slow uh, and just focuses on Excel shortcuts, but if you've never really seen any Excel shortcuts, this is an excellent way to sort of get into that. As the task moves on, you sort of learn how to work between a, a number of different uh, financial sheets. You have your assumptions sheet, we have a PL and we create a cash flow statement that allows you to have a little bit of exposure to more complicated uh, financial modeling and also learning the importance of building up a model all the way from the assumptions into something a little bit more deliverable like the cash flow statement. This task also shows you how to build out a cash flow statement in a little bit non-traditional sense where you don't necessarily have uh, all the information straight from the balance sheet. At number six, we have the JP Morgan Commercial Banking. This one is number six because once again, you go through some financial statements. We prepare a capitalization table. You also go through some sort of uh, deal structure that JP Morgan provides and you prepare a 10 year financial model forecast. So it's a little bit more in depth than we have seen so far. In number five, we have the JP Morgan Quantitative Research uh, Virtual Experience Program. Now, this one is uh, a leg above the rest in the technical aspect of things. Here, we are analyzing price data, uh, price for commodities, and in many cases, we are using some sort of programming like Python or utilizing our data analysis skills. So if you're interested in utilizing a bit of programming skills in order to complete a task, this would be a great beginning. In number four, we have Deloitte 
Australia and the Technology Virtual Experience Program. Similarly, this program introduces a bit of coding, but this coding is outside of the realm of finance and a little bit more about uh, data analytics. The task then moves on to uh, development proposals and also going towards cybersecurity and forensic technology type of work. If you're looking to utilize some programming skills to discover some insights about a company using data, this is definitely the virtual experience program for you. In number three, I put the BCG Strategy Consulting Virtual Experience Program. This is a great mix between working on some PowerPoint skills and also some Excel skills. There's also a mix between finance and actually understanding a company, utilizing the information from the case study to make some real recommendations for uh, a company in a consulting setting. This task is also a little bit complex. This was a little bit more of like a problem solving type of task, which I think is very relevant to what consulting work is really like. And that's why this one is number three. As number two, I put the JP Morgan uh, Investment Banking Virtual Experience Program. This case is about an M&A transaction where you are essentially consulting a company that you are trying to sell. So there's a small due diligence section there, uh, but mainly it's about valuation and creating a pretty in-depth a DCF model, which also includes a couple extra things like a sensitivity analysis. Um, there's a lot of financial forecasting that I've already talked about, but this this investment banking task really takes that to the next level. If you have an interest in investment banking and wanna see what it's all about, I think this is the perfect task to do it in because it really does teach you uh, a little bit about a DCF. I think this is a great place to start if that's what you wanna do. And number one is KPMG data analytics. Now this task really puts you right into the details from the very beginning. You go through the typical data cleaning. I did most of this task in Excel where I utilized a lot of different formulas such as VLOOKUP, index match. Uh, in terms of creating visualizations, you start to use pivot tables and the task requires you to figure out a way to rank the company's top 1000 customers. You have to create a a data dashboard and present this to the client. For me, this task scores the highest across the board for the criteria that I've posted. It really is sort of an all-encompassing task. It's complex. It teaches you a lot of uh, tangible skills. Uh, and for me, I think that would be my number one. So there you have it. For me, that is the top 10 virtual experience programs that you can do right now for free to try out a career that you're interested in or simply boost your tangible skills in Excel, analytics, modeling, whatever it is. Now, this is my opinion, so I'm really curious to hear yours. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys think, if there's a virtual internship that you found most helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.